Hello and welcome to 90 East. In this video, we'll be looking at atomic mass and how it differs to mass number. You'll probably remember from our previous videos that mass number is the number of subatomic particles within an atom's nucleus. That is, it's the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. The atomic mass, on the other hand, is the actual mass of an atom. That is, it must take into account all the subatomic particles, including electrons. What you'll probably also remember from our previous videos is that atoms are really small, but it can be hard to imagine exactly how small. If you were to take a pen and put it to paper and draw a dot, have a think about exactly how many atoms you might think would be in that single dot. If you've guessed anywhere over a million atoms, then you're absolutely correct. This means that the mass of individual atoms is really small. Take carbon-12, for instance. If we were to write its atomic mass in grams, it would look like this. If you try to abbreviate it, it would look like this, which is a little bit more manageable, but still difficult to use. Uranium, on the other hand, would look like this as an abbreviated form. And while you might be able to, with a little bit of thought, work out that the atomic mass of uranium is much higher than the atomic mass of carbon, it's a bit difficult to tell exactly how much higher. And it's for this reason that we use a completely different unit when we're talking about atomic mass, and that unit is the Unified Atomic Mass Unit, or U where one U will equal to one twelfth the mass of carbon-12. So let's have a look at these two atoms again, using this new unit system. So the atomic mass of carbon will be 12U, and the atomic mass of uranium will be 238U. Using this new system, it's quite easy then to tell that the atomic mass of uranium is almost 20 times larger than the atomic mass of carbon. So we've got carbon-12 here at the top, and we know the atomic mass of it is 12U. Have a think about carbon-13, hydrogen-1, and hydrogen-3. What do you think their atomic masses might be? Bearing in mind that the atomic mass of an atom is usually very similar to the mass number. Okay, let's have a look at them. So carbon-13, did you think its atomic mass would be larger or smaller than carbon-12? If you've guessed larger, then you're correct. It's 13U. How about hydrogen 1? Well, just looking at its structure, you can see that it's got less subatomic particles than carbon 12 or 13. So its atomic mass is also going to be a lot smaller. What did you think it might be? If you guess 1 or anywhere around there, you're absolutely correct. And how about hydrogen 3? It's got an extra two neutrons. If you guess anywhere around 3, you're absolutely correct. So for this video, we just want you to remember that the mass number of an atom is the number of protons and neutrons, whereas the atomic mass is the actual mass of that atom, and it's really, really small. And for this reason, we don't use grams in typical calculations. We use the Unified Atomic Mass Unit. Thanks very much. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please directly send us a message through YouTube or an email to 90easttv at gmail.com.